now then. So as you can probably tell, I had a bit of a, a bit of a switch up. Uh, only like switched which monitor I'm recording off and things like that. Camera is just on a different one. But the most important thing is we get a more we get a more scenic view. So when the cat decides to present himself, it'll be a more regular feature in the videos. Uh, but that's it in terms of channel stuff uh, today. We were running a little bit of Kaltolis on the stream. Um, I was planning to do kind of a separate video to the stream and everything, but we got some really, really good games on stream um, because I'm like top top 250-ish at the moment. Uh, I'm just trying to secure top 500 the next month. So we jammed a bit of Kaltolis and there was some interesting games. Uh, and this list is pretty standard. Uh, the one weird thing is we're running a teleportation. I kind of put that in as a bit of a meme because I was saying, like, in theory, there's a, there's the possibility of bouncing the Taskmaster for a second Purify. It's very sceptical. It's really bad. Don't put it in. Just run the normal version, but it is what it is. It did play for like two points in one game to reset our Keltalis to put it out of removal range. So maybe it's a good card. I mean, plenty of other cards could have done it better, but maybe it's a good card. Um, as always with like Keltalis, it's a little awkward to play. Um, it's a very skill intensive deck where there's a lot of decision making. And in the wrong hands, it's very, very bad. In the right hands, it's very, very good. And we were kind of getting getting some good games um if you have never played this deck what you're looking to do is use siri dash in your round one make sure that sticks get that card advantage and you can really press uh round one to go into like a round two get a bit of a bleed going and then pretty much end up winning on even or like a card up going into round three and then kelly just kind of takes it away or you maybe use kelly in the bleed and you just use Osral as your finisher. As I say, there's a million and one different sort of decision making, tiny little micro decisions. Uh, there's no like solid game plan of you save this for this round, you do this on this round. Um, it's very, very flexible. Uh, I mean, you will see in one of the games, we play Kaltolis in round one and it works out. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a weird deck, but uh, arguably one of my, one of my favorites of all time. So, uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, as always, if you do want to see more content, it's greatly appreciated if you could subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Um, no other way. I don't like this. I don't like this. So, Sand isn't too bad. Probably drop the Witch Apprentice. Again, it's really nice to see. Um, Materium Bomb. I think it's we'd rather have that than Pact. Oh, it's like consider maybe dropping the Squirrel. I don't know. Nice, the Materium Bomb gets dropped. Yeah, like... Reckless Furry is in a decent spot. So here, what's their nine point removal? Um, like honestly, it requires like a heat wave, I think, from them. And if they choose to heat wave Siri Dash, we're absolutely laughing. We still win the round anyway. We're just using a throw instead. But yeah, if they choose to craft it, this, we're laughing. And if they start chipping away at it, we just pack this. Craft, craft here, please. Do it, do it, do it, do it. You want to do it. Terrified. No, 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 you're meant to be scared of this. You're meant to be scared of this. Ah, oh, this is very non-committal. Better to great sort discard then. Yeah, that's what I mean. We'll have to. We'll keep an eye on like if they discard anything. We'll keep an eye on what ends up in the graveyard. But uh... oh, that's beautiful to see. Um, it's almost tempting to play Cave Troll here. Just 
so three hit. So they're gonna get like maximum four hits. If they get four hits on here, we're kind of crying. But then if it gets crafted, we're also kind of crying. <laughs> no, we're actually not. No, no, no. This is fine. Um, so this is kind of fine because like. If they craft the a 14, it's super sad, but... Alright. <laughs> I guess we're just... <laughs> just teleporting this, whatever, we'll just burn the card. Cool, we just get a win on even. Like I said, like, they maybe had a line there of like all three Maddock hits and the ping here and then like a gutting slash and just praying that the Maddock kills. There's really no need to stress. I'd rather just thin out the deck uh, because we're going into round two, so... Better to play the card so then we draw more cards so then our deck's thinner. So then going into our round three mulligans, we have a better chance of getting the stuff we want. Is the thought process. A lot of good stuff left in deck, but um, I can't realistically ask for a better hand than this. Because we can just... We have a way to kill... We can get rid of Maddock. We have Defender. We have again that we want to play before round 3. We've got Nithral for an engine. We've got Perian Phantom. We're laughing with this hand. Absolutely laughing. And of course Karathi and Imloris for... Dealing with uh, great swords or anything like that. This is uneven anyway, so we can we can chill out a little bit. We don't have to stress about um, dominating this round. I think Nifrol's reasonable enough to commit because we're probably just looking for a bit of a shot around going into round three, and then we can just literally just slam Kelly, slam Osril. Um. I'm happy enough to use Cave Troll this round. Like that. Uh... Yeah, Coral. If they have a burner. Again, fine with me. Fine with me. But yeah, Coral, if they have a Burner Brand, then she will put in absolute work, but like, I'd rather get that out of the way. Not using your last lead? I thought that was just uh, absolute smoke. Um, but I mean, we can drop. Wait, 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 wait. I could drop the. That would have been pretty funny, actually, if they used the leader to try and kill that, to be fair, since the ignore their armor is kind of important. Um. Because it wouldn't kill again here. And they play both the purifies, so dropping defenders good here. Yeah, literally, I was like, would you not use it? And then it it dawned on me. Um, and I wouldn't have played defender unless they played both moon dusts. Oh my god, and another purify. I mean, this is reasonable enough to pass. Because like, there's nothing else that really sticks out as like playable. Because we just play Appearing Phantom and then... I mean we haven't seen a Karathi yet so maybe we want to push a bit further. They, they kill again here. Almost certainly kill again here. But um, it's how much we care about that. I think it's more important that we get some of the control tools out of them, rather rather than get the card advantage. Yeah, so I, I, I don't care. Also go leader into Jones, punch for a defender. Yeah, uh, that's also a line. But as I say, um, this round isn't about winning with, like winning a card up. This is about getting the uh, what's it called Dele control tools out. So like we've seen, we've seen an Axie out, who's obviously very scary with how tall our units go. Um, and like if a Jeanard comes out, then you know we're we're very happy because that's a big control tool. Baduke. 
Paduke isn't too scary. I'm happy enough to wrath that, to be fair. Yeah, this is all it's about at this point. We're just draining them out. We don't need to win the round. We just need to get some of their good stuff out. Because we've got, we've got plenty of juice left. We won't play it. An aromantic because I don't trust my draws. I do not trust myself to not draw into like our round three handle end up being natural selection, natural selection, Dimaterium bomb, and then I cry a little bit. Yeah. And we can just play this. Um, they may well have another Bear Witcher. No, 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 no. They just pulled, just pulled it with Quen. What am I talking about? What they got left? Like Janod, maybe? I don't think I care about that. Could have used a leader, but like again, this is about this is about resources. So if we could, if we Karathi the eight, it's one of the highest value Karathis we're gonna get. And if the hero pass on us, we we still win anyway. So we'll just get them down to... They can keep the last card. Maybe they don't. I mean, it kind of depends. Um, we can assess, because maybe, like... Maybe Ulster just takes it. Uh, we'll assess when this last card comes down. There we go. That's what I mean. It's all about, it's all about getting those resources out, because... Like, Karathi onto an 8 isn't exactly... Amazing. Tilbuck got clapped by Spyro, god damn. God damn. I was watching my Mon's game against um, Spyro, and he did really well in that to be fair. Uh, my Mon absolutely dumpstered him. The beast balls. Don't need natural selection. Yeah, this is why we kept the Aniromancy. Because uh, this hand doesn't look too great. But, uh. Beast might be coming down just as a six point player, like last say or something. Yeah, I really like watching my Mon. Uh, very, very talented. Well, if you all not actually come up against a ladder, um, I was running up against some, some big boys the last few days, and I'm amazed I haven't just lost like I uh, what are they throwing away? Throw away a mega scope and a northern wind. Cool. Why play units? Why play units? <laughs> okay, we're laughing. We'll we'll play this out and then I don't see a universe where their last card beats a 20 point Osral. Probably is your nod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not fair, okay. Easy stuff, easy peasy. This could be pain. This could be nothing but pain. Um, Depending on what list it is. Right, if there's a god, we'll draw into Siri Dash. There's not a god. Turns out there's not a god. That's a shame. Alright, we gotta do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> we gotta get Nithril going. Um, probably a fear in Phantom. Yeah, that's a little scary. Um, I mean, I tried that life because list. I wasn't, I wasn't all that impressed. In all honesty, um, it feels, it feels like playing pincer maneuver, but you have zero chance of drawing. Mm, seeing that out early is kind of fun. Gets good value on it, but that means they've probably got an answer. So, but yeah, that life coach list. Um, it feels really weird. I tried playing it and it's just like... It feels really good when you draw correctly. But it feels like you're kind of trying to do... 
a lot of things at once. And you can, it's, it's similar to how like traps feels, in that like you, you need to hit the right card. I have also just realised we had a Neuromancy, and we literally could have got Siri. I'm actually so dumb. I just stopped playing on stream, that's what it is. It's really not unre reasonable to just Imlorex that. Uh, but we're gonna do something a little, a little unconventional. So we took down the Siri because this is kind of scary for him. Um, basically, what we're saying to him is like, you can set up your fault test, but then our Siri dash probably goes off, and you're in big shit. And we can't wait to do this. They've already played a Jeweler. If they play out Durantius, we're absolutely laughing because then Keltulis is going to stick. And if we see a pass, then great. Okay, that's fine. So. That's absolutely fine. Um, reason being, like. Voltes can't buff anything. I mean, ma 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 no. Um. Genuinely slamming Kelly here is not unreasonable. Uh, so if we slam Kelly here and like use appearing Phantom to kill that. Um is just going forwards, we're really relying on like Osral and again. Fuck it, we're this this game is gonna be a test, right? I am not hundred percent sure if this is the right line to take, but uh This is a test. This is a test. We see if this is correct or not. Bit of a landing exercise for me. Because I'm not hundred percent sure on how you wanna play this matchup, because if they get round control you just don't win. What you got? What you got? Blue stripes, completely fine. Yeah, we just pass. We have a Keltolis stick in. We're we're a card up. No reason not to pass there. Does they struggle to get out of this one? They really struggle to get out of this one. I mean, this line really, really, really works out if we draw well. Uh, Plays Wacky stuff to work for him, then again, you should watch Panic. Yeah, that's true. I, like, I played against Life Coach, and it was just the weirdest match. He was playing, like, um, it was playing, like, Succubus in a Gurney list. I was running, like, Haunt. And it was just, like, I couldn't get a read on, like, what I was supposed to do. Um, this is kind of what I meant, like, this pass was kind of insane. <laughs> and this, this has to be a forfeit, right? There's no way this isn't a forfeit. When I do the there's nothing left to fry. What is going on, man? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Poor dude. Poor dude. Um, I mean, it's 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 not even good because like Pavetta didn't give him anything. Because there was like two blue stripes. I mean, they have a few blue stripes now, which is fair. But like, we just 
Yeah, I was gonna say like. <laughs> okay, turns out playing Kelly there was the right play. Killed by Keltulis is like the only way out of that round. But then, yeah. You don't have to worry about the carryover of the blue stripes if we don't go to those later rounds. That's that's a little pro tip for you there. Uh, this match was paid. Like we all, I'm genuinely considering just forfeiting this right now because it will take a small miracle to win this. It will take a small miracle. But we see what we can get done. We see what we can get done. And this seems like super weird to do, uh, just jam this down because they can lock it, but like we've got the Purify. And if they want to spend like two or three locks keeping this lock, then we're okay. I think we're okay with that. Oh uh, yeah, so while we've got Dominance, we'll just, uh, just real quick nip that in the bud. Okay, and now where's lock number two? And then lock number three. And then lock number four. I mean, if they coup this, we don't really mind either. This might, this might be the, uh... Yeah, A and Taekwondo using the last leader. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was thinking. Was like I was really skeptical about that line of um, jamming cultulus, but it's like NR typically like really really struggle to deal with tall units. Like they can reset them, like points wise they can deal with them, but if it's something that needs to be off the board, they can't just reset it. They really really struggle. Uh, but what we're gonna do here, what we're gonna do here is. Um, Siri Dash is currently on two, two turns. So the second we get a pass from them, we're gonna Aniromancy for the um, teleportation to purify Siri and then she'll trigger, which is so dumb, it's great. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, let's see how our deck's looking. We'll be very, very passive. Um. I don't like this in the slightest. Not in the slightest. I mean, we're probably a Neuromancy in for that. But this is, uh. This is gonna be satisfying. We just need to see a pass from them. Just need to see a pass. Uh, we still don't actually have Sabbath, which is a little bit sad. But we can get there. We can get there for Sabbath. Oh wait, don't kill Siri. Don't do it, don't do it. No! The master plan! The master plan! No! That was gonna be such a meme. Oh, that was gonna be such a meme. No! Oh, that's so sad. I don't think I'll ever recover from that. I didn't account from hitting a 25%, did I? That's a rookie error. That's a rookie error. Too talented. At the end of the day, what can we do? When there's talent like that roaming about on ladder, you just gotta accept it sometimes. The stupid thing is, we probably still win this round. Probably just Imler it. Oh, it feels so bad using an 8 point removal on like a 4 point card, but it's actually correct, I think. We drop it down to like one, but like that's good enough for me. It gives us dominance back. We're ahead on even. <sighs> that's so sad. No. 
That was my- that was like- that was the little- that was a little clip moment. I was gonna say I'll never play Nilfgaard again. I'm boycotting Nilfgaard after that, but let's face it. I'm gonna keep going with the old- with the old ball stuff. Up for it. Okay, this, this game's just been weird. It's just giving us it uneven. Um, that's quite random anyway. I mean, this is like the real sad thing is like, I've noticed as I've, especially like as I got over like 2,500 with Nilfgaard, I was like, every match up is either jackpot or ball. Like, I, I played against like a hyper thin Rience, but I mean, that one hurt. That match up actually really hurt. We got bullied by that. Um, there's nothing we even want to squirrel. I mean, maybe they play coup. This is going to be another little resource drain round anyway, so... We kind of don't care. We maybe actually want our shit cards. Oh, whatever. I mean, again, we really don't care about this. Um... Good enough. Good enough. Uh, from our graveyard, they could like do the old Gogved, Cantarell, or something like Siridash or Egern. But we have answers to that. Um, if they do that on Egern, Parasite claps it. If they do it with Siri, we just pass out the round. We'll see. We'll see what gets done here. And we, we can't even like rely on Cave Troll until we've seen um until we've seen like Cupbearer out. Which is really sad. Looking thin as fuck now, dude. Thin as fuck. Hmm, Pact isn't even bad. Pact isn't too bad at all. Maybe even like um that feels more color really color as a suit. Is, yeah, it's kind of a weird one. I think like the meta's really settled down like a lot. Yeah, there's no Gogovin in Canada. Yeah, um, the meta's like really settled down like a lot quicker than I expected. Um, since the new cards come, it usually takes a bit of time. No, that's illegal. That's literally not allowed. I mean, honestly, jamming Kelly is not even bad here. Because they just have too many ways to fuck with it later on. So we probably just jam it now and, like. I mean, yeah, they got. They got the, this is why I don't run Vigo, because, like, he's good if you brick on a Blight Maker, but he's not good if you don't. Cool. I'll, I'm happy to see a Vincent out. Right, let's see some more toll removal out. Come on, doesn't that look juicy? Hit that squirrel with some toll removal. You want to Yenvo that. Actually, they put Yenvo or Ku on top of the deck. <laughs> but I don't want to make you Serper off the top. Interesting use of imprisonment, but I will allow it. I will allow it. Um, yeah, again, let's just let's just trade this shit. The lock onto the squirrel. It's an interesting choice. It's definitely an interesting choice. And then we can play like pretty unitless. Pretty unitless. Yeah, and they're gonna coup that. I know. I know. I know. I know. Pull someone good off the top like a Fergus. Eh, it's alright. It's alright. Uh, like, what have they even got left? They've got like a Brathens left. Um, or like Brathens and Ball left. So we clap that. I mean, that's like a reasonable karate. But 
holding Karathi is also kind of good. Um, okay, so like if we Karathi that, and those last cards are like Brathen's Ball, Brathen's will play with like a 12, 13, and then they're, they're up on us by like 25. Yeah, this is just a pass. Um, uh, just prefer. yeah, I run, I run, go ahead and counter. Like it's just, it's so much better. Quite simply, um, Vega. Like I've tried, I've tried basically any variation on that. Like little, what was that pocket of? Um, also, goddamn, look at these draws. <laughs> on that like little pocket of cards, you can kind of mess with on that like six, seven, eight point range, and genuinely, it's it's the best by like a country mile. Just because it gives you access to so much, you know, like your opponent passes on you when you got like five or something. Then okay, then you just um, you just play Gaved in like round two, and you just your lower um, what's it called? Your lot and I'm convinced. And like I literally I, I stole a guy's um, Koshi like this morning. <laughs> With it, and it's that's what I mean. It's like a card that has like the text of like you have a small chance to just win the game here. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just play like unitless into this shit. I mean, Joachim in like round one. Um, Joachim in round one is like, it's only good if you played Dead Man's Hand before, with the current like, um, glitch of like being able to see the Audrey cards because you can very, very nicely set up and it's super, super good for thinning. So, what do we want to do here? Because what have they got left? they got like a Brathens left, almost certainly. Brathens and what? Brathens and some a bit disappointed. Brathens and Koo. Brathens and Koo, I think, is the last, last thing's left. Okay, I think that was Brathens and Koo. That's what I put one. We got this. We got this. Cool. Oh, it's a coup. Last card's coup. Oh, this is funny. They've got a zero point card. <laughs> They've actually got a zero point card. Oh, wait. Oh, no. They added poison. Okay. Okay. God damn. We. <sighs> How have we actually won this? That, sh that should be a completely unwinnable matchup. But here we are. Here we are. 